$18.99 for one and a half dozen of these beautiful roses. What an amazing deal. Aloha everyone and happy Monday. I hope everyone had a great weekend. I am here at my local Costco checking out all of these beautiful flowers that they have for Mother's Day. Aren't they pretty? Look at that. I just did a video recently at my local Home Depot showing you guys what they had there. So I thought it was only fair to share with you guys what they had here at Costco. And look at how colorful everything is. Isn't that gorgeous? And take a look at that price, $19.99. That is a great price. These roses are so pretty. My mom, she loves roses. She gets them for every occasion. I like roses as well, but I don't like that they don't last. And that's why I rather have orchids. Take a look at all of these beautiful orchids. And look at who supplied them. SNW Orchid Nursery. If you guys didn't watch my video of SNW Orchid Nursery, definitely check it out. They have probably the biggest orchid nursery here on Oahu. Look at how pretty these are. And again, they are all decorated for Mother's Day. So if you still aren't sure what you're going to get your mom for Mother's Day, you might want to consider getting her one of these beautiful orchids. So for those of you who are here on Oahu, check out your nearest Costco store. And if you don't have a membership, SNW also supplies Sam's Club. And if you don't have a membership for Sam's Club, you can check out Home Depot or Lowe's because they also supply those stores as well. And don't worry, I didn't forget about those of you who do not live on Oahu. If you live on a neighbor island or if you live in the United States, SNW does ship. So give them a call and usually shipping only takes about two days. And of course, our Costco stores here in Hawaii carry flower lays. Flower lays are really popular. They give them to people who are celebrating birthdays, graduations, pretty much any occasion. And they always have a great selection of cut flowers available as well. Occasionally, I will buy um, a bouquet to display on my kitchen counter these tropical ones look amazing they are so pretty but i usually only purchase bouquets during certain holidays obviously right now we are coming up to mother's day so they're gonna have bouquets themed for that but i usually purchase um, during halloween thanksgiving or christmas because as I mentioned, I like to display it on my kitchen counter and it just adds to my overall decorations that I have going on for that particular season. And now that I showed you guys beautiful flowers, I thought I would go ahead and show you guys some of the yummy snacks that we have at our Hawaii Costco stores. Because I'm guessing more than likely they don't have these at any other Costco stores around the world. And I know some of my viewers are watching who either used to live in Hawaii or they were here for a vacation because I do have comments every so often of people telling me how much they miss the islands and, and how much they loved it. And one thing you always remember when you live somewhere or you went on a vacation is the food, right? The food is something that we all remember. And I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love macadamia nuts. In fact, did you guys know that over 90% of the world's production of macadamia nuts are grown right here in Hawaii? And the Mauna Loa Macadamia Nut Corporation is the largest processor of macadamia nut products in the world. So if you guys aren't allergic to nuts and you haven't tried macadamia nuts yet, I highly recommend you do so. And they come in all different flavors like these honey roasted ones my favorite is as of right now is um, maui onion and garlic 
And here they have some hurricane popcorn. And hurricane popcorn is popcorn that is seasoned with some seaweed and mochi crunch. And mochi crunch is a crunchy, crunchy rice cracker. It's kind of salty. And here is some macadamia nut popcorn. And this is yummy. These I absolutely love. They are so delicious. It's nice and sweet and it's like caramel corn with, with bits of macadamia nuts in them. And here we have some Hawaiian sweet bread, which is really popular for making French toast. So if you go to a restaurant here and you see um, sweet bread French toast, then this is the kind of bread that they use. I like to eat it with butter. I warm it up in the microwave for a few seconds and melt the butter and it's so delicious. It's really, it's a really soft bread. Okay, let me take you guys back to the snack area because there is a lot that I didn't show you guys yet. Okay, so here we have some chocolate covered macadamia nuts and this one is a six pack of dark chocolate for $27.79 and here is a smaller pack for $12.79. This is a three pack of Aloha Hawaii, which I'm not too familiar with this brand, but Hawaiian Host is a really popular brand. And this is another six pack, but this time it's milk chocolate for $27.79. And here we have what's called the Island Trio from Hawaiian Host. It is a variety pack, a 36 count for $27.79. And the flavors are Maui Caramax, Milk Chocolate, Aloha Max, and Mac Nut Crunch. And here we have Mauna Loa milk chocolate covered macadamia nuts. It is 12 boxes. 12 boxes of premium milk chocolate for $38.79. And right next to that is Hawaiian Host. This is, I guess, comparable because this is also 12 boxes of milk chocolate covered macadamia nuts for $39.99. And here we have another brand of chocolate macadamia nuts. This one is Mac Farms and this one is a Kona coffee flavored dark chocolate for $16.89. And this one is coconut dark chocolate macadamia on sale for $13.49. Okay, so here we have Island Princess chocolate covered pineapple this time. And this is on sale for $8.39. Here we have more macadamia nuts. This is Hamakua Kona Coffee macadamia nut brittle. I've never tried it. It sounds good, but I have not tried it. And this is $10.69. And here is another product that I haven't tried yet. This is another Island Princess brand. And it is Choco Mochi, which is a chocolate covered Japanese rice cracker. And this is $11.69. And here we have Hawaii's Finest Cookies in Paradise Macadamia Nut Shortbread for $10.99. 
And here is a really popular brand, the Honolulu Cookie Company. And this one is Mini Bites Lemon Premium Shortbread for $8.99. Okay, this item right here, it is Enjoy brand. I grew up calling this Mochi Crunch, but here they have it as Nori Maki. It is a Japanese rice cracker. Let me know what you guys call it for those of you who are familiar with it. And again, this is $8.99. Okay, I'm probably gonna confuse the heck out of you guys, but this is another Japanese rice cracker. This is Tomoi brand. And this time they call it Arare. So there are several different ways that people refer to this as. Anyways, this one is $9.99. Another um, thing that I hear it called is Kakimochi. So again, for those of you who are familiar with this product, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys grew up calling it. Okay, here we have a furikake party mix, which is basically a Chex mix. And this is Hawaii's finest cookies in paradise brand. And this one is $14.49. I have my own version of this that I make during um, usually New Year's and it is delicious. And this wouldn't be a Costco in Hawaii if we didn't have golden Hawaiian pineapples. Dole brand, Royal Hawaiian, sweet, juicy, and delicious. Look at these beautiful pineapples. I love pineapple. If you sprinkle a little bit of salt on them, they taste even better. And these pineapples are $3.89 each. And for $12.99, you can get your pineapples already cut and peeled and ready to eat. Again, sweet, juicy, and delicious. All right, everyone, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the flowers as well as some of the local snacks that we have here at our Hawaii Costco store. Until next time, everyone, remember to always live aloha.